Yo, what's up all you radical people of YouTube? Welcome to the Captain's Cog. Today, I'm going to unbox some stuff and I'm going to show you the bike stand that I won from Berserker Nick. So, Berserker Nick is my channel sponsor and he recently hit 200 subscribers and he did a giveaway. He gave away this Park Tools bike stand. Um, I didn't really enter the drawing because I wanted someone else to win. So luckily someone else won the first drawing. They didn't claim the prize. So Berserker did another drawing and I was like, okay, now I'm going to really enter it. So he draws my name, I'll take it because I need a bike stand. So he drew a name, someone else won it. A few days went by, they didn't claim the prize again. So he did a third drawing and luckily he drew my name. So I uh, claimed the bike stand and here it is. I just put it together. It's really awesome. Uh, I can't wait to use it. I don't really have room in my garage right now. I got to kind of get rid of some stuff and make space. But once I do, I can't wait to use this and show it to you guys in videos and future builds and whatnot. So I'm going to get this out of the way and let's uh, open some of these other packages. All right. Well, thank you so much, Berserker. That's an awesome uh, giveaway prize that I won. Stoked on that one. All right, so let's see. Next, I guess I'll open. This is from MTB Keo. Um, he did a giveaway on his channel for a hub, and a good friend of mine, Chris and Tracy, over at the Shed. Check out their channel, the Shed. Um, he passed it along to me. He said, "You know what? Give that to the captain. I think he needs a hub." And uh, that was super nice of him. Thank you very much, Chris. Uh, so MTB Keo sent this to me. So let's check it out. I got my, my handy dandy knife. Hopefully I don't cut myself. And uh, we'll see. Check out the hub. All right, we got a skewer. Nice black skewer. Oh, it says Novatech. See that? I'm not sure how well my phone is going to focus, but I'll try and do my best for you guys. Alright, next we have the hub. This is a, I think, 32 hole Novatech quick release. Check that out. Woo. I think uh, 11, 8 to 11 speed. Uh, 6 hole for the disc brakes. Pretty solid. It's got it's got some solid weight to it. So thank you very much, MTB Keo, and thank you, Chris and Tracy from the shed. All right, let's um, let's see what else we got here. Next up, we have a package from uh, a guy, a really cool guy. I think he's out in the Midwest somewhere. Sorry, I don't I forget which state. Uh, his name's Run, or his channel is called Run Bike Mike. He has a big piece of property where he's always building features and trails and cool stuff like that. And he does other um, other types of builds too. So this was sent to, sent from him. He had an he had a gimbal he was giving away that he wasn't going to use. And I said, hey, I could use that. You know, my uh, my GoPro Hero One doesn't have any stabilization, so. A gimbal. Oh, look at that. He sent me some. Ah. There we go. His area is called Walnut Springs. So he sent me a couple Walnut Springs stickers. You guys see those? Pretty cool. He's got like a squirrel friend he builds uh, like picnic benches for and stuff like that. I'm telling you, he does cool stuff. Check him out. Run Bike Mike. Thanks for the stickers. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Let's see what we got. So this is a wearable gimbal. Now I'm not going to like open it up and, and show you too much of it because I can do that in another video. Um, but yeah, I'll open it up a little bit so you guys can just look at it. Oh. So I guess you can wear this gimbal and I can attach my GoPro to it and it'll be able to stabilize my videos. At the least, I could just use it handheld, and when I film, you know, 
know, like other things, it won't be so shaky. Um, but I'll definitely try and figure out how to mount it, um, how to mount it on my chesty mount. But thanks so much, Run Bike Mike. This is super awesome. I gotta charge it up and uh, see how it works and figure out how to mount it. Um, but I can't wait. see what's next. I think the only thing that's left is the big old box from Berserker, the Merry Forking Christmas present. All right, let's get that one now. You guys ready to see what's in this box? Because I know I am. Let's see, this side's kind of already busted a little bit. So let's see what the good old Berserker Nick sent me for Christmas. This is for the Schwinn Aluminum Comp. Looks like I'm gonna cut myself. There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Pull it out. It's covered in plastic. I don't know what kind of reveal it's gonna be. Ready? Let's do this together. Here we go. Looking pretty beefy. Not very light, I'll tell you that. Ooh! All right. I see a Rock Shocks logo. Let's get this plastic off here. Again. I see a 35. All right, there's the bubble wrap. I see Rock Shocks 35. Let's, uh, let's take this plastic. I'm just going to rip the bag. I don't think I need the bag. Actually, you know what? I'll cut the bag nicely. There we go. Oh, that was easy. All right. You guys ready? Let's see what we got here. Shocks 35. I don't know if you guys can see that. 35 millimeter stanchions. It looks like it's got a through axle, the Maxel system. Um, uh, I think this is Boost. Yes, yeah, 15 by 110 torque cap compatible. Rebound action here. That comes out. Oh yeah, so this is that like Allen screw type. Okay. Put that back. Wow. It's pretty cool. So this thing is definitely beefy. This is definitely not gonna break. Um, let me look up, I know you can look up the serial number and it'll tell you like exactly what model it is. Uh, it says right here, 160 millimeter travel, of course 27.5, offset is 44 millimeters here. Um, let's see here, I'll get my air pump too, so we, I'll get my uh, shock pump so we can see like how much air or whatnot is in there. And, um, so let me do that right now, hold on one second. So I looked it up, and this is a RockShox 35 Silver TK. So we got aluminum steer, steel stanchions, and um, I tried to look at, I was going to look at the air cap, but I was like, oh, that's a weird air cap. Uh, it's not an air cap, so this is a coil fork. So it's a coil fork. 160 millimeters of travel um, and it weighs uh, 180 millimeter rotor minimum I believe it said I don't know if that's right that doesn't look like they're that far out but I don't know um, and it weighs a little over six pounds so it's definitely a hefty fork 
um, but it's probably very strong. But like I said, it is a coil fork, uh, so I won't be checking any air pressure or anything like that. Um, but it's pretty rad. It's uh, definitely not going to break, that's for sure. So I'm going to order um, a Boost 27.5 front wheel and a 180 millimeter rotor. And I think I gotta get a new tire, maybe some uh, tubeless valve stems, and then I can uh, put this bad boy on the Schwinn aluminum pump. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so this, the RockShox Silver TK coming to a Schwinn aluminum comp near you. Thank you so much, Berserker. That's an awesome uh, Christmas present. Merry forking Christmas to me, right? Um, I think it said it had the rail damper or something like that. So we'll check all that. We'll check all that in another video before I install them. Um, but yeah, that's it. Rock shocks. Silver TK35. Hope you enjoyed that one. This is the captain signing off. You guys know what to do. Keep the budget low, the stoke high. Always be your own captain. I almost forgot. I just want to say thank you to Berserker Nick for sending me the forks and the bike stand. And MTV Keo for sending me the hub. And also Chris and Tracy from The Shed for donating the hub to me from Mountain Bike Keo. And then I want to also thank Run Bike Mike for the gimbal. Go check out all their channels, Berserker Nick, The Shed, MTV Keo, and Run Bike Mike. I'll catch you guys next time.